Brown admits he pulled a gun, demanded money, and shot Joseph when he tried to drive off, then accidentally shot Jocelyn. The couple leaves behind five children. I got beer, beer, and more beer. If I was a snake, it would have bit you. If my penis were a snake, it would have bit you. Because if you ain't having sex with you, I'm a turtle. What's up with you and Nathan? Um, nothing really. Just friends. I mean, this is what it's all about, man. Moments like these. I mean, even the Christians were guilty of ethnic cleansing at some point in time, right? With the Crusades? We're doomed to repeat our mistakes. Everything goes in cycles. I can have some sunscreen on my back. If we're gonna do anything at all, tonight is the night. Look, no one's gonna commit murder here. <laughs> It was 15 minutes before they tried unsuccessfully to steal someone's car. When the victim comes out of the store, the teens reportedly asked for the time. When the man looked down at his phone, that's when one teen pulled a gun. Kevin Campbell and Travis Jones are now facing serious charges. In the video, you see the suspected robbers approach the group, but they fought back, one of them even grabbing the suspect's gun. The suspects then took off. Police arrested the driver hours after this attempted robbery, and the gunman was arrested just a few days later during a traffic stop. It happened right across from Slow's Barbecue on Michigan Avenue near Roosevelt Park back on November 8th. You can see the victims trying to get away, but one of the robbers pulls a gun and takes their purses. Police got these shots when they used one of the victim's credit cards at a gas station. Chevron Station, this is on San Pablo Avenue. Then he hops over the counter and starts attacking the worker. He did try to open the cash register, but uh, it wouldn't budge. He ended up leaving the store empty-handed. The clerk had a bloody nose and lip. Police are still looking for the suspect.